Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ali, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, we got enough questions that Brian will do a Q&A with me. So I figured we would do the fun questions first and then the more God-centered questions second, just so that way if I have to split this up into two videos, it's easier to distinguish where to stop it and then like where to start it, if that makes sense. So yeah, but if I'm able to fit it all into one video, then yeah, this whole message makes just doesn't matter. But we're going in the specific order in case the video gets too long because when we get to these God questions, Brian and I can both be chatterboxes. So thank you to Raquel and my sister Destiny for all the questions, by the way, because without your guys' question, yeah, Raquel. But we are gonna go ahead and start. But like I was saying, I wouldn't have any questions. We wouldn't even have any questions if it wasn't for Destiny, my, my sister Destiny and Raquel. So the first question is favorite date night ideas. I could just tell you what my favorite kind of date nights are and they're honestly just hanging out with each other. Like I like whenever, I mean, I kind of consider us loading all up in the car as a family and just riding around listening to music and just talking. Like that's my favorite thing to do. But I mean, like if obviously if you're going out on a date with somebody and you don't really know them, dinner's always a good thing to just be in public A and then two to kind of lighten the mood. I mean, just don't be one of those chicks who's like scared to eat. I mean, everybody eats. <laughs> mm -hmm. What about you? What's your favorite? Uh, like you, mine's twofold. So like you said, probably that first part. Yeah. <clears throat> Cause we are family oriented and based. Mm -hmm. So like off the top of the head, when we took the trip to Abilene, got in a hotel and we just, Oh yeah. When we ventured out, went to like somewhere new, had fun. Mm -hmm. So that, I understand the question is date night, so. But the, those are our dates. Yeah, I mean, that's how we yeah. orchestrate our family. But one-on-one, -on -one, so just you and I type of date night. The only one I really ever look forward to is our anniversary. Mm. Because, Save it for I you. mean, we do, like, don't get it wrong, we go out and we do have dates. Somebody yeah, but it's usually, like, yeah, boys. it's usually like we'll go out shopping together or like we'll go out to dinner okay, and then go see, shopping. But even then, because I'm cheap, oh. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so anniversary date night is always like one of the bigger things for me because that's like the only time I don't put a cap on how much we're going to spend mm. every night. But, yeah. To me, just to answer the question, probably for anybody, honestly, so since, when, like what you said, when I think of date night, it's when we ever get to have the chance to just sit down, talk, and reflect. That's mm -hmm. honestly my perfect date night. If we can just sit, talk, reflect, and enjoy one another's company. Yes. I mean, to me, that's a date night. But I mean, for the more modern, traditional type of worldly sense, family, whenever we go out of town, we can just book a room, go out, have fun, and, and enjoy that city wherever we're at. But one on one, always anniversary night. Yeah. The I'm main quality you love about one another. I would have to say my main quality I love about Brian is how quick he can remind me like who I am when I start to freak out. Or I don't know, he's like my calm because I'm a very easily worked up person. So he's like my calm and that's and that's my favorite my like the quality I love most about him is that he could be calm in any situation. Favorite quality. Mm-hmm. So don't say nothing nasty. <laughs> I really wanna try to keep it like not that I don't keep it one hundred <laughs> but honest. Yeah, but then at the same time, I don't want to make it seem like so, oh, they're just Christian. They're just oh, trying. Bible thumping? No, yeah, like, cause I, but, I think but, a lot of people like to think that yeah. we have a front, and it's not no front. But hear this, we we wear the term Bible thumper proudly in this household. Yeah, but like I'm trying to say, it's not like, because it's not a front. Right. 
But like, it honestly, is. so throughout my life, and you know what I've been through, mm -hmm. the, and it doesn't, because I'm not trying to piggyback off of you, but like to have that peace that's still like, I can leave home and know that you're taking care of what you need to take take care of. So you're speaking like of peace it, of it, mind. Like it, it, like it takes my breath right now. Like I don't, I'm feeling like real choked up because like I said, to think <laughs> about my past and things I've gone yeah. through, to know I can leave and have that peace of mind knowing mm -hmm. that all right, she ain't out there tricking off. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, maybe I should go out and do me because she might be doing her. So like, yeah, the fact that you can give me a piece of mind. That I'm trustworthy? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I'm there like, that I'm trustworthy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, because that, you know, I can think, okay, it, it makes me want to be trustworthy. Being with a trustworthy individual makes, it only makes the other individual want to be, at least I, in my world, it makes me want to be trustworthy. I can't speak for nobody else. So this one, I kind of already told on myself, but who gets mad faster? That's me. Easily. <laughs> That's me. And, and don't that, let and don't, that, and don't let my don't let my period be right around the corner or my hormones be flared up in any kind of way because you sneezing around me can tick me off during those moments. <laughs> like when you're pregnant with Bryson. You oh my god. Fight over me about a freaking fry. <laughs> I thought that was crazy. Yeah, but to, but I get more bothered fast. I guess that's a better word for us because I wouldn't say we get mad, but we do get irritated and bothered. Yeah, I, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, was I think like, anger is different from. Yeah, but to say. I I don't think we've ever. Well, we have been set over the top, but. Yeah, it, that doesn't much. happen. And and even in those in, and even in those instances, I'm always the one to feel those feelings first. Always, but always. but women are more emotional beings than men. So. But that's not it because you you not that you process things quicker than me. I feel I, I yeah, you feel things a lot quicker. Than yeah. me. I let things play out to determine how things are going to be. You know, I let I let things happen and I plot and I plan for it, but I never allow a circumstance to be my everything not to say that you do but it's something pops i allow off, myself to you, feel you um, allow yourself to feel and react to that before i think about it right i'm just i'm so quick to feel and then react on those feelings is my issue mm -hmm. so favorite gift from each other so what's your favorite gift that i've gotten you probably anything workout related yeah you love it <sighs> favorite gift he's got me so, okay, my favorite, my Apple Watch, because now I can just, mm. I don't have to overly exert energy yeah. in the gym now. Now I know where to exert my energy, and now I can really watch my runs, yeah. you know, my miles and things like I that. I would have to kind of piggyback off of that, but my favorite gift is anything Brian's allowed me, like given me an allowance to, given me an allowance to, prosper my YouTube channel because that just lets me know that he believes in me and he believes that I could do this because YouTube costs money. We had to invest in a computer in better lights. I have to buy makeup from time to time, like, or even just anything that you have to buy for YouTube. Like he's always willing to be like, okay, we're gonna save this amount of money for this long. And then you can allocate that towards what you feel you're being called to do. So I think anything in that aspect is my favorite gift from him. So first time saying, I love you. I love telling people this story. <laughs> Cause he said it first. And then, so he called me, I'm not gonna tell the whole story. You can check out our other videos for the whole story. <laughs> so anyways, he calls me in the middle of the night. It's like what, four o'clock in the morning, four or five o'clock in the morning. And so like he calls me, he's like, I got to tell you something and I don't want you to say nothing back. And I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, you know, tells me how he feels about me. He's like, but I love you. Click. And I'm like, well, okay. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I said it back till what the next day. No, I don't think you said it back for a while because I wouldn't allow you to. Oh yeah. He wouldn't let me. So it was a long time before I got to say it, it back. Can I, can I justify that? I, can Are I tell you what I thought about it? Yeah. I think he just didn't want me to say it just because he said it. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Like he wanted my love to be genuine, not just because I knew that he loved me. Hey, amen. And that's why, because mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't say I love you from a worldly sense. Right. But I love the fact of 
I was becoming the person I knew I could always be. Because before we ever met or really even got together to hang out, you were putting me in a place that I have never really truly been before. So I love the fact that I was becoming a man in a sense that I was taking responsibility for a lot of things and really loving the individual I was becoming with your presence being around. So I love the fact that you were allowing me to be me or not even just me be me, but me become a better me and that mm -hmm. you would, how do I say? Cause it's not like you were checking me like, oh, or what are you listening to? But it was a simple fact like, hey, you're going through this, and, you know, maybe you read this scripture or mm -hmm. maybe go ahead and do that. You know, it was never that you were trying to be on top of me, but you were like, hey, God's the end all be all. Check with the father, mm -hmm. maybe read this verse, you know, have a heart to heart with God and watch everything come together. So then you allowed me to, in the order of what God has given us, allow me to truly understand my role of being the headship of myself for one with Christ so that then two, if we did get together, I can know how to be the head of not just you, but our family. Right. So, but so still, yeah, I said I love you. So, first. yeah, he did. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, Craig. You ain't gonna lie. So, this next one was just, I guess you wanted to see the first pic that we ever took together. And honestly, we didn't take a lot of. Yeah, we did. I, I bet you don't even have it. I do. They're on, they're all saved on my Snapchat. So I'll have to go on Snap, log back into Snapchat, get on there, and I'll pull them out, and you'll just see pictures popping okay, up. Okay, I know it off the top of my head. What is it? The first pic we've ever took together. Mm -hmm. Quit looking at me trying to read me. Tell is it the, <laughs> I feel like it's the one, the first, whenever he first, he came, he finally had a weekend off, and he came out here, and we went to our the church that we used to go to had what we would call Thrive Night. And no, what was our first picture? Our first picture, our first picture together was at Eric's wedding. <gasps> oh, wait, no, because that was after the Thrive Night because you had already no. met everybody at the church then. Remember, remember, I first came down here for oh, for uh, no. 4th of July. Yes, the first time I came down here was 4th of July. And then some time went on between then and then we would go back and forth. Yeah. I hadn't gone to your church yet. And then you invited me to Eric's wedding. Oh, okay. And then I came out here for Eric's wedding. And then remember they had the little camera booth or whatever picture thing that it was going on? Oh, with? I have pictures of those. Yeah, but that was the first time we ever took pictures together. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. Because man, when I but started you know when we started going to Thrive, I was living here. Yeah, but you know the great thing about iPhones is that it actually tells you what pictures you took first and when you took them. So, but but that picture I'll was go based off of phone. that. Next Dang, question: so How many siblings do we each have? I have four sisters. Mm -hmm. How many do you have? Let's just say I'm the middle from my father, but the oldest from my mom. Um, I'm the middle, no matter. So which all way together, you go. I have three brothers, three sisters. I ain't gonna say half and. Whatever. Yeah, we don't, we, don't, have, we don't do that. It's sisters and brothers. Yeah, I mean, so I have three brothers and three sisters, but I'm the middle. Do we plan on having more kids? We would love a daughter. Yeah. But to say that we're planning on having more kids, no. And there's multiple reasons for that. For one, this world is just so corrupt. I can't even bear the thought of bringing yet another child into this world. Um, two, I just, I... I have to have C-sections after my fourth, like that's it, we're done. Also, last thing for me is I just had my hernia repaired and I don't really want to go through that again and getting pregnant again will open that up again. So, did I hit everything? Yeah, well, first and foremost, your health is more important. Yeah. And that's what came down to with King, mm -hmm. your third cesarean, so. Yeah. We were really hoping King was going to be a girl. Yeah, so I mean, if we're meant to have a girl, I think the Lord will provide provide a way whatever for way our is. daughter. Yeah. yeah. Um, Plus, I always got Harmony, so. Yeah, Harmony, our niece, we'll just keep spoiling her. As long as Harmony is around, I probably won't need another daughter. <laughs> our favorite wedding memory. Well, we didn't have a wedding. 
Not like, not, not the not way of marriage of you weddings. We didn't have a huge wedding. We had a wedding, a wedding to. A ceremony. Yeah, a ceremony to, how can I say this? To establish our covenant between us and God, but not like the way America views it. Mm -hmm. Wait, what was the question though? Our favorite memory. Favorite wedding memory? Yeah. I would have to say. I, I can tell you this, for me, like, mm -hmm. so just. I'm going to say the me, same thing for me. Knowing that I was really going to go through this, like, to know that the past relationships mm -hmm. weren't the foundation for this relationship, knowing that the lies that, you know, or just mm -hmm. the thing, emotional things I was battling, like, man, somebody else would give me a try, or maybe I am good enough for somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not, of course, you can, I'm borderline cocky, confident, <laughs> but just to know like, okay, somebody does take you serious. Yeah. You know, that, to me, that's a memory that's like, because now we fast forward three, four years later, and it's like, she is as serious as I was thinking that day. Mm -hmm. um, and then you like just blew mine out the water. <laughs> I was gonna say my favorite thing was having a blessing prayed over us in our marriage, like just to carry with us throughout our marriage. You don't, there's not a lot of people who have support when they get married. And I'm very glad that on both sides of the family, like people have always been for it. And not a lot of people have that. Do we have a song? Like if we, yeah, like, we have a song. which song? I bet you don't know it, bro. Which song? You tell me. Because the only song that I ever think of is my Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I was about to say, she don't get this one. We got a problem. <laughs> We got a real problem if you don't get this one. <laughs> but that's yeah. where, like, yeah. Yeah. So From the I, know, I know some Christians or whatever be like, what? But I don't care who you are. You're going to hear at least one worldly song. Let's just, if it's Shania Twain. Or, right. So, uh, my Beyonce by Lil Durk and Dej Loaf. That's, mm -hmm. that's our song. Yeah. Um... Because... You want to tell them the reason why? No, you can tell them that. Okay, so when we first met, it was a song I was playing. Yeah. But just like the lyrics, like... Not the my Beyonce part, but the actual lyrics. Like the, the, like the understanding of it. Yeah. Like, no matter who I am or where she is, like, she was my piece, I'm her piece. Whether the times are good or whether we down in the gutter and have to, like, scramble. Which we have been. You know? <laughs> And, and you know, no matter what you're gonna face in life, like women coming after me, guys trying to push up on you, like, hey, nah, like I, I got my, you know, like the world likes to say, you know, the Jay Z and Beyonce, every relationship gonna have a problem, but are we gonna really stick it out? Because how easy mm -hmm. could it have been for Jay and and I, we don't look up to Jay Z and Beyonce, but how easy could it have been for them two to separate? After Solange did what she did to Jay Z in mm -hmm. that elevator, like imagine if me and like Destiny or me or Sam or me and Des, like any of your sisters, if we got into like a scuffle and like, nah, if you and your sisters, your whole family got to go no, for you like, know, that's not like that. Fair. But you know, I'm saying like my Beyonce, like my rock. This is my this is my girl. This is like and you know everyone looks up to Beyonce. Like that's Beyonce. So man, like, so he's my Beyonce. Okay. 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 Age when we met and age now. So when we met, I was four, How old is Bryson? four years ago. Okay. That's twenty three. So Sixteen. Boy, I was young. I was twenty. I was twenty three. So he was twenty five. Got all these gray hairs. Man. I'm twenty seven now, and he's twenty nine now. Hey, you are getting old, old man. <laughs> Your mama old. <laughs> she gonna watch this. <laughs> she knows she old. Weird habits we notice about each other. Mm. You know, I got a lot of them. A weird habit Brian does is every time he gets out the shower, he does this breathing thing. Well, and it bothers me and he'll be like. <sighs> you, but do you know why I do that? And I'm like, no, but it's annoying. <laughs> I take hot showers. So, yeah, he takes like boiling so when, water. When I'm showers. done, and like it's just a sigh of relief. 
when we like to shower the curtain back, let that cold air come in to my atmosphere and just, whew, yeah, that feels good. But he does it like nonstop till he's done getting dressed and pampered in the bathroom. I'm like, what, what else? I don't think you have any other habits that I just think are weird. Yeah, you do. So what's the, what's that question you just answered? With? Weird habits. Weird habits. Yeah. Weird habits. Weird habits. Oh, you know what mine's is. What did I put ketchup in my gravy? No, and you almost got beat up because you gave me that gravy. With ketchup <laughs> today. I put two in there. I put one plain gravy yeah, and one because I didn't know if you were gonna take it or not, so I saved both gravies. Oh, thank you. But <laughs> I opened that said, man, she done gave me this ketchup <laughs> gravy. <laughs> That's no, you know what it is. What? Oh, the fact that, <laughs> that stuff is the annoying, fact that I bro. like to watch ASMR videos and not just whispering ASMR videos, but like now she eating. got my sons watching it too. <laughs> like the Bryson eating ASMR video. <laughs> who who sits there and watch someone eat? And... <laughs> That's not how it sounds. That's how I hear it. And then, then you listen to it when we go to bed. But I like, try to turn it down as much as No. What, okay, you tell me turn off the TV. Everything is, think about it, everything is <laughs> off. The fan is probably the only thing going. The next thing all I hear is like someone, like the movie The Ring. I hear like something trying to crawl from underneath the bed. Just <laughs> over there praying and like, Lord. <laughs> Hey, but there better not be no spirits in here. And I look over and you got your headphones on, phone going. I'm sorry. And just, someone just. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, okay, so do we have any traditions? Our only tradition is our, wed our wedding anniversary. And like he was saying, we go to this place here locally called Las Brisas. And it's like the fanciest or one of the fanciest steakhouses here in Lubbock. So we like to do that. And okay. You know what? Yeah, that is probably the only tradition. Yeah, that is and the only reason why me, because reading the scriptures, mm -hmm. Christ came to tear down the tradition of man. They were, they were following their hearts and the things that their forefathers set up, and not mm -hmm. the things of, you know, the laws of God. So that's why we try to stay away from tradition. But yeah, so we don't yeah. really celebrate any holidays except for like Thanksgiving. Yeah, I mean that's a good yeah. tradition to keep. Yeah, so just so so just Thanksgiving and um That's our it. wedding anniversary. Do we have any celebrity crushes? Mm -hmm. Not anymore. You know why? Oh, I never had one. Yeah, you Okay, as a kid, J Lo, what kid does not like J Lo? What nineties what nineties kid did not like J Lo? For a matter of fact, you like you made a big old deal about it at the Super Bowl. Uh-uh, stop watching the TV. Sure did make him stop watching J Lo. But did I? No, because I don't have a crush on J Lo. Mm -hmm. Maybe ever since I became a teenager, I don't I never had a celebrity crush. It moved from like J Lo to Shakira real quick and then I graduated and it was done. Yeah, I wouldn't say I've had like it. Like, like I've gotten. Tell the I've truth. I've gotten celebrities were attractive, like Mark Wahlberg. Is it yeah, Wahlberg? that yes, that's and the then, only one I've ever known. And of. then whenever you introduced me to wrestling, for Roman Reigns. Yeah, <laughs> I had a little thing for Roman Reigns, but then God was like, "All right, you got that lust in your heart," so I stopped watching wrestling with him, and that's now right. I don't even glance twice at Roman Reigns, but. So now you see how I feel about Jennifer Lopez. Oh, that's, that's old. Whatever. I was a kid. J-Lo ain't been hot since the early 2000s. Okay. So now we are getting that in. That was the last one? That was the last funny one. Celebrity Crush was the last one? Yes. But if you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.